Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Bulla from Clear Controls. Today I'm going to be doing another episode of the Clear Tech Tuesdays. Today's episode is going to be on the improved uh, installment of the Clear Video Doorbell. As you can see on the screen, you can see my iPhone there on the screen. Uh, I've already downloaded the Clear Vision Plus app. There's a brand new, vi brand new version in the App Store and the Google Play Store. Um, so the very first thing that I want to do, uh, other than you know ins physically installing the doorbell, I'm going to go out to my settings here and just make sure that I'm on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless network. Uh, the doorbell chip, the wireless chip in the doorbell is not 5 gigahertz compatible. So I want to make absolute sure that I'm on a different network. Um, in my case, I have installed a little Wi-Fi extender on my network just because my uh, wireless signal out here wasn't adequate where I'm where I'm with the doorbell. So once this connects, I'm going to go ahead and pop open the uh, ClearVision Plus app. And they've done a really nice job setting this up. If you go over to, once you're registered, you log in, you can head over to, on the bottom, it says Cloud Device. Click the plus up at the top of the screen. You're going to see now you have choices. I'm going to click the video doorbell. And this opens up the camera. So all I need to do, so we're going to scan. You can see it says the device is offline. And I want to connect to a network. So the reason we want to connect to the network first on the phone is just to make sure because this screen is going to pop up and it's going to automatically try to connect the camera to whatever the wireless network you're connected to. Again, this is a 2.4 gigahertz network. You cannot use a 5 gigahertz network. So uh, you can see everything's ready to go here. Uh, I'm just going to put the password in for my little Wi-Fi extender. Apologize for the background noise. It's a little bit noisy here. Uh, at this point, and of course, this is a little different than what the app, the last version of the app looked like. Now we have a button that says generate. So when I click generate, that creates its own QR code. So what that QR code does, you can put this QR code in front of uh, the doorbell lens here. And when you hear that audible noise, it's, a, it's an alert saying, okay, the doorbell has, has read the QR code and it's, it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and click next and she just also said that the Wi-Fi is connected so I know that uh, that there's a solid connection between the doorbell and that 2.4 gigahertz network. I'm going to go ahead and set this device password and once you click activate this is going to go through a process where it goes out reaches out to the server and registers the doorbell uh, and what that does is it puts it onto the account that you're registered on, uh, you know, on your account. So the nice thing about that is I do not have to do any more routing. I don't have to open any ports. It's, it's just ready to go. You'll be able to access both locally and remotely. I'm going to click the checkbox. Now at this point, there's a couple different things you can do. I'll run through it quickly. You can click and there's a few options you can do right here in the app. Uh, you can turn on and off. Uh, notifications, push notifications, or you can go in and rename the doorbell, which you may want to do for your for your customer. Uh, click the checkbox, and what I like to do is I usually get out of here and close the app, and I usually go back to my my regular network that I'm that I'm normally on, just to make sure because you know I just want to make sure that the networking is is sound. So I'm going to go back onto the network that I was on before, which is the uh, 5 gigahertz network here. Let that connect. Then I'm going to reopen the ClearVision Plus app. And you can see right now, since I haven't opened the camera yet, you can just see where it says ClearVision Plus. Um, if you want to view the camera, boom, I just opened that up and it's ready to go. So that's it. It's, it shouldn't take any more than maybe one or two minutes to install the camera. So it's, it's a very simplified process. Hope you liked the video and please join us again for more. Thanks.